their peace by the death of their beloved ones. And he went there and raised the dead. That way he given peace to those people. So in many ways, Jesus Christ given peace to the people around him. And because of that, Paul says, Christ is our peace. We all are worried about the sad death of Sony Burgess. And his family members, the parish, his friends, all are painful and worried now. They lost their peace. And Jesus Christ is the man, is the God, is the person, is the spirit who gives peace to these type of people. And because of that, Paul says, Christ is our peace. We also understand peace in this manner. If we are away from all these things, if we are away from all these sorrows, if we are away from all these difficulties, we say we are in, in peace. This Gabriel Shemashan last few months back he stayed with me in Dharamana, few days. And he witnessed many things. I have a lot of meetings, phone calls and all these things. And once Shemashan said, Tirimani, do not worry. Mexican diocese is formed in disobedience. <laughs> Genesis 15, verse 15. Genesis, book of Genesis, chapter 15, verse 15. 15. Yeah. And as for you, you shall go to your father, fathers in peace, buried in a good old age. Yeah, this, this is a, 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 a dream or a message God to Abraham through dream from the Lord the Father. And you will bury in, in peace. But for you, you shall go to your fathers in peace. It speaks about death. It speaks about death. Death of Abraham. That death will be in, in peace. In um, uh, another reference, Luke chapter 2 verse 29. Luke chapter 2 verse 29. Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. You know who said this one? Simeon. Simeon, when he saw Jesus Christ, the infant Jesus Christ, Mother Mary took Jesus Christ after the birth of Jesus Christ, she took her to the Jerusalem temple in order to perform the purification rites. According to the law of Moses, she took Mother uh, Jesus Christ to Jerusalem temple to perform the purification rites. And when Simeon saw Jesus Christ, she he said, "At last, my eyes see my eyes see the salvation." And Lord, give me a peaceful death. I can. Join to my father with, with my fathers in peace. It speaks both. In Genesis chapter 15, verse 15, that speaks about peace in death. Here also Samuel speaks about peace in in death. Nobody in our age speak 
uh, they understand, nobody understand like this. We all understand peace in death. When we hear about death, all of our minds will be worried. Few months back, while I was in Kerala, a father, a father, a, a, a priest of our church, he was, he is 95 years, 95 years, he is a retired priest, but he is still active. And one person, a distant relative, working in a Gulf country, he was visiting this priest. I was there. I was there with this priest. And this man was sharing his uh, uh, these things, and he told, "Acha, see, God given you 95 years, so this is your uh, the time of preparation. At any time, God may call you. It's a time of preparation like that." Then this Ajahn said, "No, I don't want to die. You go and die." <laughs> I need, I need few more years in this world. I don't want to die. This is not the time of preparation. I want to live more. <clears throat> All the people in this world want to live more and more days. Nobody wants to die. But here, Abraham and Samuel, they say, I can go, I can join to my fathers, with our fathers, in Peace. It speaks about death. Biblical understanding of peace, we have to understand in a different way. It is not something related to the healing of the sickness or the, uh, 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 the provision of foods or, uh, or something else. We have to understand peace in a different way. And for that, yeah, do you know the, the first word, word in the beginning of the New Testament history? The first word in the beginning of the New Testament history, not the Bible. The first verse of the Bible, not the first verse of the Bible, the first very word in the New Testament history. Where began the New Testament history? Okay. Where began the New Testament history? Angel Gabriel came to, not Deacon Gabriel, <laughs> Angel Gabriel came to Mother Mary and communicated the message of the birth of Jesus Christ. There began the New Testament history. And which was the first to very word? Peace. Peace. Hail Mary, full of peace. Peace. So that in that New Testament history began. And Jesus Christ in his public ministry many times he speak about uh, peace. And when he commissioned his disciples he said go into to the end of the world and whichever city you enter say there peace. So the first variable of the New Testament history is peace. 